Hey YouTube, RepoMan64. I'm actually going to make three videos today. Um, and hopefully we can learn something and uh, track this date down that we've been searching for for so long. For so many years we've been trying to figure this out. Some of you are new to watching and you're getting a lot of information and the bottom line what i want to tell you is that jesus is the only way no date is the right way no way to count it is the right way um all of the hints that you keep seeing i believe are breadcrumbs from god feathers numbers moons dates uh, timelines all that other stuff is honestly irrelevant because the end game is or the beginning of the game as well beginning and end is jesus christ and that's it his blood covering your sins in for all eternity and that's it now <clears throat> as we've been studying we have learned that there are different dispensations there are two groups that will go to heaven the first group will happen before she travails who has ever heard of such a thing before a woman travails, she gives birth to a, a male child. And then another child is born. She labors much and the child is born. This happens, we see in heaven. There are two groups going to heaven, the bride, and then there's this group called the saints of the tribulation. I don't like calling them tribulation saints. They are the saints of the tribulation. They are those like um, Elisha who still have baggage they will and god knows who they are show up in heaven and say have i not done these wonderful things in your name have i not done all this work donated money gone to church wasn't i better than my neighbor who's just didn't care about anything and if you're comparing yourself to another human being you missed the boat you misunderstood everything you compare yourself to Jesus. And when you do that, you'll realize that you you fall short. You always fall short. So I have three videos I planned. I've got the pictures, I think, all lined up to go through these three videos. And um, why three different ones? Because I try to compact everything into one video sometimes, and I feel like we're losing ground on the actual message of course the actual message the bottom line is that without jesus we don't have anything he is everything and if you have a youtube channel that says that and i find you and you agree that jesus christ is god almighty that he came here in the flesh left his rightful place in heaven to be beaten spit on dragged across hung on a cross and gave up the ghost and then on the third day he rose if and you believe that that's god almighty that did that for us i will subscribe to your channel i will promote your channel i will uh make certain that in spite of how important i think i am that your channel makes it through perhaps i think when the rapture occurs it's like a huge emp and i think all power all over the planet is going to go out because people will be raptured from around the world. The Bible tells us that this group is from every tribe and every nation and every tongue. And it happens twice. Um, the first one is a rapture taken out of imminent danger. The other one is a gathering taken from or within the danger. Both groups go to heaven. Um, you can find these two groups. One in First Thessalonians, I think it's 417. They are caught up. They are raptured out. And then you can find the second group. They will not go until they see the rapture, which is the great exodus, the great falling away, the great leaving the church. Of course, who is leaving? That's every true believer in the work of Jesus Christ alone and the man of sin be revealed. How long after the rapture of the bride does this event take place? I don't know. But honestly, from what I'm seeing and some Things that I've, I, like, I was up, I don't even know, was it like Glass Darkly Ministry? I was talking with her in the Discord in a private channel 
I think we were up till midnight or 11. I don't know, it was pretty late. Maybe it was 10 o'clock. I don't, I don't remember, but we spoke for hours over some things that we're both seeing. And I really enjoy that, by the way. I really enjoy that in the Discord, being able to talk one-on-one. -on -one. We have, it's kind of informal, I think. And I think sometimes in texting or in emails, there's a misunderstanding where you think the other person's angry or short or something like that. And it's just, it's just horrible. It's a horrible platform, but it's still better than the comment section here in this channel um, over in Discord. So I'll put a link to the Discord. All right, let me get started here. I keep seeing numbers that mean something like John 644. Nobody. Oh, my paper fell. Let me put it back up. John 644. Nobody comes to the Father lest the Father draw him. Nobody. That doesn't mean some do and some find their own way. No, nobody comes to the Father lest the Father draw him. And then there's that 1111 again that keeps popping up. John 316. For God so loved the world he gave us that we can all say this one by heart. 333. I believe Jesus went to the cross on March 30th in 30 AD at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And he rose, and that's four threes, right? And he rose 4 3, 30 AD, and I think it was 3 a.m. Four threes. I think it points directly at the date. Looking Up is an awesome, um, <clears throat> she has a YouTube and she has a Facebook page and she's constantly posting just amazing stuff. Death was proof that Jesus was human. Resurrection was proof that he is God. This is why I subscribed to her because she knows that Jesus Christ is God Almighty. There is no question in her mind. Um, the, 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 the thought process that uh, Jesus was created as the light, because nobody knows what that light is. If the sun was created on the fourth day, what was created on the first day? And I think it was the constellations telling us the difference between day and night and putting uh, everything in position and in place. Twelve constellations, there are 12 months in a year, there are 12 hours in the daytime and 12 hours at night. It's 12 um, apostles, there, there's just God uses 12 as his completion. All right, so <clears throat> why do I have this here? Do, 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 do. Okay, I want to show you something here real quick. And there's a second 40 days that I did not put on here. And I made a calculation. Well, it's on here, but I, it's, a, it's a calculation error. As I come up to the dates that we're currently working on, I recalculate everything from the head of the year of March 17th. And remember, the sun goes up, it's a day. The sun goes down, and then the sun comes up, it's another day. You have to assign a number, a date to that day. You know I don't follow the moon. I just cannot the moon simply does not work the moon is a reflection of christ we it is the bride it is not perfect it will be made perfect i have a feeling that on the day of the rapture that the moon will fall back into a 30 day per uh, 30 days per month and a perfect 360 days in a year um, I think the earth is going to speed up slightly to do that. And then I think that uh, the moon is going to uh, to uh, speed up slightly as well. Because currently it's 29 and a half days. Every 28 days, every seven days is a Sabbath. So it's 28 days. It simply does not line up with anything to do with the moon. A month. There is, if we started the year here. Like I said before, so many times, if we started the year here on March 17th, you have to assign a day to it. And if you don't use the Enoch timeline down at the bottom of 30 days, there are 30 days in every month, except for the days where there is a gate. There is a gate found in Sivan, Elul, Kislev, and Adar. 364 days. And then we have the day out of time. It resets itself every year on... Um, March 16th, whatever day the Gregorian 
calendar says is March 16th. This is your Sabbath throughout the year. Currently, I believe, no, I don't have to believe. Let me go look. Currently, we go back here to March. Currently, the, 14th, uh, the 16th is a Thursday. So that sets up your Sabbath. Why are the Sabbaths important? Because they tell us when certain events happen in the Bible. Why is the moon important? Because without the moon and the blood moons and the quarter moons and, and different moons, uh, it dials in when certain events will happen. But if you don't assign a day to each and every day, when we start our year on March the 17th and they start their year on March the 23rd, you have six whole days, seven days, six, seven whole days, missing where did they go do we have a month that has 23 days in it somewhere can we compensate for those 20 for, for those uh those seven days that are missing by calling a month 23 days and the answer is no we cannot compensate for that so let me go here and i want to show you what this wonderful brother named patrick found Patrick found that on the Feast of Trumpets, now by the way, by the time we reach Feast of Trumpets, Tishri 1, which is six months, exactly six months to the very day, 182 days, a day assigned to each and every single day the sun comes up, it is exactly 182 days, half of 364. When you reach September the 15th, this year, which is a very rare occurrence, but this year, their calendar, the Hebrew calendar, actually lines up with the Enoch timeline. September 15th is the old Feast of Trumpets, Rosh Hashanah, until God returned back, or turned time back six months, like he said in Exodus 12, making the head of the year March 17th. So, you have September the 15th. On September the 15th, this wonderful brother named Patrick, who I'm going to show you his YouTube, because I think it's very important to not only know his name, but to know his YouTube so you can go subscribe. He's done an amazing job. I believe God has called him for such a time as this to find what he found and it's just amazing uh, what he has found. He has found that there is an asteroid or a comet named child that will in fact exit the womb of Virgo on exactly September the 15th. By September the 18th, now remember God began creating everything on September the 11th, so right down here at the bottom. September the 11th, he created the light, which I think is the, the stars. September the 12th, he created the firmament which is our atmosphere surrounding our Earth, stopping everything from escaping, all of our options from escaping. September the 13th, he created dry ground. September the 14th, he created time. This is the Sabbath. September the 14th is the Sabbath. If you go back 182 days from this point here, you will land on March the 16th. A Sabbath. This year, the Sabbaths are on a Thursday, and then on the 15th, he created the animals. He could not create the animals. He could not create man until he had created time. We do not and cannot, animals or us, anything with the breath of life, cannot exist outside of time. Time must be in place for us to be able to exist, which is why he created all living things, First the animals on September the 15th, then man on September the 16th. And on September the 17th, he rested. On September the 17th, at night, September the 18th, the moon will be at the foot of Virgo, giving us, yet again, a Revelation 12 sign. For, now, I, now, I'm of the mind set that... September the 15th, the birth of the comet named child coming out of the womb of Virgo is 
the saints of the tribulation. I think we found the date the saints of the tribulation go marching home. So, who has ever heard? You can see she's in travail. You, yeah, you can watch Patrick's video, and you can see that uh, Satan is there and everything. Everybody's there waiting. Miriam is there, is waiting for delivery. Satan is there, waiting to devour the child. Everything that we see in the Revelation 12 sign exists in this uh, pattern that uh, he found with all of the uh, comets and the sun and the moon. The moon is there to dial it in. The moon is actually accurate every 19 years, and I'll show you that. September the 15th. You go back 40 days from September the 15th. What did I do? Did I put Oh, it's up on top there. It's up on top. Something happens 40 days earlier. When you count, when you number your days, exactly number your days, 40 days earlier from Rosh Hashanah, September the 15th, is when the dove is released and never returns. This, again, I assign a day, is of 22. Nobody can argue that it's off 22 because seven days later he released the dove and the dove doesn't return. It's so cool that when I put all this on a timeline, the dove doesn't return. And Jesus, when he is baptized, I think it was 26 AD or 27 AD. I'm not 100% sure. I believe he went to the cross when he was 33. Again, on March 30th, 30 AD. At 3 p.m., I think he was 33. Look at all those threes. And um, Haggai 1.1 talks about a little one, and this is the day Jesus was baptized. Can you imagine the dove flies away at the time of Noah and just flies and returns at the time Jesus was baptized? Do we fly away and not return, but to be with Jesus and, and on of 22, August the 6th? Now, I know that there are a lot of people that are looking at the moon and they are saying that to be of is about to happen on, it's happening right now, I guess, during the full moon, um, the first or second. Now, if I assign a day every single day from July 30th, I will wind up, and you can use of 15, and if you go through from Av 15 to Tishri 1, you will find that it is exactly 50 days. Did I say that right? Is it 50? No. Yeah, it's exactly 50 days from Tubi Av, which is a Pentecost. Oh, I remember now. I, got, I confused myself for a moment. So when you do the count, remember, and I think it's opposite. I've been seeing this a lot here lately. When you do the count... Pentecost always lands on a Sunday. Jesus rose on a Sunday. It is, in the original translation, it was the morning after the Sabbath, the day after the Sabbath, which is Sunday. You begin your count on the Sabbath after. So that is another seven days. And then you count 50 days, and he tells you it's on the first day of the week. When you do the 50 days and then seven days, there's your Pentecost. Pentecost will land on the Day of Atonement. The Day of Atonement is the day, remember, uh, remember Jesus, after being baptized, left to be tempted of the devil. He was out in the wilderness fasting for 40 days. And then on Yom Kippur, Day of Atonement, um, Jesus comes back. He, he, he triumphs, of course he triumphs, he's God. I don't think Satan even knew who he was dealing with, honestly. Uh, and he triumphs, and he is tempted, and, and he triumphs, and he comes back on Day of Atonement. Again, one day, the sun comes up, it goes down, there's a day. So, I think possibly, I'm not setting dates, but I think possibly, I, I am so ready to go tonight or tomorrow, if this is really to be of, and we're supposed to be using the moon, I'm all about it. Um, but if we were to number our days and come to a conclusion that every single time the sun comes up, you have to assign a day to it, then there are 28 days in a month. There are not 29 and a half days in a month. There are 30 days each month and then one day for each gate. There are 364 days in a year. And that, 
how it was how it was originally. So when you count these times, we go from to be of. I'm sorry. From August sixth, we go forty days, and we land on Tisha uh, on uh, sorry uh, Feast of Trumpets, Rosh Hashanah, on the fifteenth. If you count from Rosh Hashanah on the fifteenth, I you can see I have it um, pointing at September the seventeenth. I, I I did not fix it on the timeline, but actually forty days. There is forty days between September the fifteenth and October the 24th, the day that Noah went into the ark, he sat at the ark door for seven days, and seven days later, God flooded the earth. So you have a 40 and then a 7. Over here, we have a 40 where uh, Jesus is tempted, and we have a... Um, Nine day period from when the dove flies, and remember nine is <clears throat> look at it like this: you have one hundred lines of things that must be done, and each line represents a nine 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 nine, but when you put a parenthesis around all of it, it equals a ten. It is complete, so each segment is a nine, so this segment is complete. Is it possible that we fly away <clears throat> excuse me on August the sixth? And then um, we have this banquet with, with Jesus and everything, but the Holy Spirit returns, the dove returns to the saints. Nine days later, after our completion of everything in heaven, the dove returns to the saints, and they get a double portion, just like Esau did. <clears throat> All right. Let me continue on here. What are we doing? We're being watchful. We know who Jesus is. We know he's God. We know he saved us. But what else? Are, what proves that this is the only thing you're looking forward to? Are you planning out a new car six months from now? Are you planning on a new job? Are you planning on saving up money to, to buy a house? Are you planning on this stuff and that stuff? I have not planned very much. <laughs> Honestly, in my life, because I thought this event was going to happen so long ago. And, and, but it's okay, because I'm still here, and I'm still trying to figure it out. And honestly, I feel like God has shown me this timeline to show me to number my days and to count them out. And it's all here. And it's, again, if, if it didn't line up, if it didn't fall every, each and every single time, if it didn't fall into place, the numbers didn't fall into place. Like if those 40 days that Jesus was tempted, if if I had done any other kind of count, if I had done the 29 and a half days with the moon, it will never land, ever, from Av 22 to Tishri 1. It will never add up to <clears throat> 40 days, ever. There is no count with the moon that lasts 40 days. It just doesn't. So be watchful. This is what we're supposed to do. This is in Luke. Remember, Luke knows the order of all things. Luke is speaking predominantly to the bride. Take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of this life. And so that day come upon you unawares. If you are so hung up in the world and you're getting drunk and just living your life and doing what you want. Yeah, you've confessed that you love Jesus and you know who he is, but you're still tied up in this world. For as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be counted worthy to escape all these things. That shall come to pass and stand before the Son of Man. Now, this is the good news. There are those that don't believe in the rapture. They believe that all this is going to transpire at the end of the tribulation. There are those that don't even believe it's going to happen at the end of the tribulation. They think it's going to happen at the end of the millennium. And what I keep telling them is, you're right. You're 100% correct. For you, that is when it's going to happen. Because to me, if that is what you see, that 
There is a reason why that's what you see. You can't see the bright escape in all these things. Even though it's written as clear as a bell right here, you will see the passages that says, oh, there has to be this great falling away first. Oh, and the man of sin, sin must be revealed. Yes, this thing that they did to us back in 2020, yes, that was the mark. Oh, we're already in tribulation. The seals are opened. They're all opened. And, uh, you know, we're just waiting on the last seal. If that's what you see, there is a reason for that. Because that is what God has opened your eyes to see. If you can see us leaving before, that is what you will see. Why? The Bible was not written to just the bride. Can you imagine how incredibly intelligent God is? I mean, I, I mean, we already know, right? He spoke everything to existence. He created everything that we see. Can you imagine what a mastermind to write a book in a fashion to where this group called the bride consisting of not very many it's it's the initial gleanings of the, of the field it's the first fruits it's not much just random picking of the most ripest parts and bringing it in they're the best part right but then comes this main harvest it's huge it goes through harvests everything okay but then there's the corners the edges. That's the last part. Can you imagine? I, I mean, of course, you can't imagine being God, but how how masterful, how what a mastermind to write a book in a fashion to where each group will see only their part, and we, for some reason, it it blows my mind. For some reason, and I still do it. When I meet somebody who says nothing's going to happen, this is all done at the end of the millennium, and we're almost there. We've been in the millennium for a thousand years now. Where are the angels flying around warning everybody not to take the mark? Where did that happen? I don't see the two witnesses anywhere, Moses and Elijah. I don't see them anywhere. Where, when did that happen? Well, that happened a thousand years ago. Okay. Why do they see that? That's their part. They can't see any other part. And you will argue with them until you're blue in the face. Why are you wasting your time? Why? Is it written backwards? Yeah, it's probably written back. Yeah, it is written backwards. Lake of fire. Lake of fire. Those are who we are worried about. The people that are going to the lake of fire. I don't care about the people going into the millennium. I don't care about the people who think... That Satan is loose now at the end of the thousand years and God's about to judge everyone. And I don't care. I don't care about the saint going into the tribulation. It, it's not that I don't care. I shouldn't argue with them. The Bible actually tells us not to argue with them because this mastermind named God wrote a book that you have blinders on. And all you can see is your part. That might be hard to hear for some people. But know this, know this as sure as I'm standing here. You know who Jesus Christ is, and you know he's God Almighty. If you don't know that, if you think he was created at some point in the creation story, and that he's not the one that created everything, and the Word, be and the word became flesh, and the flesh dwelt among us, and the flesh was died for our sins, he was our Savior. If you don't believe that part of it, then you belong to another group. And that I would caution you on if you don't. And here's the thing. The bride's going to disappear. There's going to anybody that you've told, if you see me go, if you see me go, this is what happened. If they've heard that and you planted that mustard seed and it's in there and all of a sudden out of nowhere, all this huge group of people just disappear. They're going to be like, hmm, like when the mark came out. Supposedly they came out. At first I thought, oh, we got to be careful. We're all going to catch this thing. We're all going to do this. And then I think I was watching Bob Barber from uh, End Time Dreams and Visions. And he's like, don't buy into it. It's, it's, uh, it's not real. It's, it's, uh, what did, how, and this is years ago, he put it. And he's like, it's, it's, he was one of the first people that said it, I think. It was like, none of this is real. This is, this is uh, them trying to see uh, who will line up for this thing. And I was like, oh. I see this is a test. 
It's an emergency test of the broadcast system. They're going to bring this, roll this thing out and see how many people will line up willy-nilly and just do this. There are people right now getting the retina scan so they can walk into a grocery store, look into a thing, and buy stuff. They're doing it right now. They don't care. They think they don't know what the mark is because they don't know Jesus whatsoever. So anyway, let me get back to this. All right. So please be watchful. Always be watchful. Now, back to Patrick. Patrick did an incredible thing. It was incredible. I want you to notice here that the sun rises in Israel at 6.24 a.m. At 6.24 a.m. on Rosh Hashanah, the Feast of Trumpets, the child is just on the other side of that line, not quite born yet, 6 o'clock in the morning. The child is in Virgo. You see, the moon is up there. The moon won't be at her feet until the 18th, 17th, 18th, the last day of creation. God is the beginning and the end, the first and the last. That will be the last day of creation, the day God rested uh, when the moon's down there at her feet, just like the Bible says. He, he goes into quite, I'll show you his YouTube, he goes into quite a bit of detail. He's found several other comets. Miriam is there. I think Satan is there. He's found all kinds of stuff that's that's there um, at the, this moment of this child being born. Again, I think this is for the saints of the tribulation because there is tribulation at this point. I think this is the point where the saints go. I think it's quite possible that 40 days after the dove doesn't return on August the 6th is when we go. All right, 6.48 p.m. This is sunset time in Israel, 6.48 p.m. Look at this. The child was just born. See the moon? It's down on her shoulder now. But the child was just born. See? Just over the line. So that means that the child, at some point, after 6 a.m., um, to 6 p.m., at some point, the child was born. All right, why do we do this? You've all seen this passage. If I see something like this, and I don't tell you that it is a possibility that the rapture could occur today, tomorrow, because everyone is viewing the moon and they believe that this is... Um, where am I at? I'm lost. That this is to be off. I think to be off past on July 30th. But if God is in fact using the moon, like I think he's not, um, to be off will be happening on the first and second. So from there, and again, if you do the count from the first and second and you count 40 days, you will never land on September the 15th. It just won't happen. It is uh, the 40 days exist. Um, from August, I'm sorry, from August the 6th of 22, if you count 40 days from when, when the uh, dove leaves and doesn't return, um, you come to um, September the 15th. And if you count from when Jesus was baptized 40 days, you land on the Day of Atonement. If you do that math from a little one to Tishri 10, you must come up with 40 days. If you're using the moon, you're just going to fall two days short. So... I don't, uh, I don't believe that, but who knows? O oh, thou, son of man, I have set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. He has set us to watch. We are bringing you as much information as we can find. We are surmising this and that. I don't know that any of us are correct, but we are still throwing it out there for you to continue to look and to keep continue to watch. I don't know how many of you have said, I'm so tired of watching, but hey, there's another date. Let me go watch that. Why? You are a watcher. You are a bride. This is all you can think about is when this day is coming. You cannot think about anything else in the world uh, except for this day come. When I say unto the wicked, O wicked man, thou shalt surely die if thou dost not speak to warn the wicked of his way, that wicked man shall die in his iniquity. 
but his blood will I require of thine hand. If I see that there is a possibility that the moon definitely uh, co uh, coincides with to be off, if that is accurate, like they're saying on the first and second, and I stand here and say, nope, it's wrong. They're, they're wrong. I'm right. You'll never hear me say that because they might be right. It might be the moon. It might be happening tonight or tomorrow night. It might be that I am wrong. So I would never say, don't watch their date, watch mine. I would never say that. I'm just giving you another alternative. I don't think many people have much to look at, honestly, after to be off, because it is the wedding feast. It, you know, it is a perfect rapture scenario, honestly. And when I did the math from the wave offering, and I went to seven days and the 50 days, I found that Pentecost actually does land on to be off. July 30th, that was where I landed. All right. So that's why we warn. This is Luke. Luke knows the order of all things. I believe Luke was predominantly written to the bride. For as much as many have taken in hand to set forth in order a declaration of those things which are most surely believed among us even as they delivered them unto us, which from the beginning were eyewitnesses and ministers of the word. It seemed good to me also, having had perfect understanding. He didn't have understanding. He had perfect understanding. Having had perfect understanding of all things from the very first to write unto the in order, most excellent, uh, I wish I could say that name, Theophilus, that thou mightest know in certain, uh, the certainty of these things wherein thou hast been instructed. The certainty, of course, is Jesus. Luke also writes in Acts, the former treaties have I made. Treaties? 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 Have I made, O Theophilus, Theophilus, sounds like a... Never mind. All uh, of all that Jesus began both to sorry, I'm having a hard time reading today. Of all that Jesus began both to do and teach until the day in which he was taken up, for that he through the Holy Ghost had given commandments unto the apostles whom he had chosen. Now God chooses you. He has given you breadcrumbs. You are telling everyone when you see me go. God is the one that has given you this desire. Do you think for one second God gave this to one person to tell the entire world? And the answer is no. He gave a lot of us a lot of different gifts. We're all a part of the body, but we're all different parts. Some of us can smell. Some of us can see. Some of us can hear. Some of us can feel. We are not the same, but each of us have a gift that we are to use. Some of us understand some of us simply believe, and that's more than enough. To whom also he showed himself alive after his passion by many infallible proofs. You cannot deny that Jesus rose. There is no denying it. When did Jesus come? You know, he came at the garden when Adam sinned. When did he come again? Oh, he came at the flood when he was the ark that Noah got into. When did Jesus come again? Well, he came again um, to greet I think it was Abraham as Melchizedek, right? No father, no mother. Was that, am I using the right names? I hope. But he came at that time too. When did he come again? Well, he came 2,000 years ago in the person of Jesus Christ and was crucified. And when will he come again? Well, he's going to show up in the clouds and pull his um, bride out of here. And then he'll come again to pull the saints out of here. And then he'll come again at the end of the tribulation to wage war against uh, Satan and, and chain him and cast him into the pit for a thousand years. And then when will he come again? Well, he will when he goes into the holy city. I mean, that's not the holy city. The holy city stays up in heaven until the new heavens and the new earth are created. But he rules over the millennium. That's why you see the sun going through the water of... Uh, I'm going to forget the name of that constellation. Man, go find a man burying a picture of water. Um, Aquarius. Took me a second. Aquarius. You'll see that if you start your year on March, any other date other than March 17th, 
you lose God's story in heaven. You lose it. Because if you don't start it on March the 17th and end it on March the 17th of the year 3030, 1,000 years, the sun just makes it through that water. If you count from March 23rd, the sun is still in the water. And if you start counting and say, well, a month here and a month there, it, no. Just like your birthday, it's on the same day. It never changes. So, next. It is, okay, I just wanted to show you. It is 40 days from August 6th, the day that, that uh, August 6th, now remember, is um, off 22. This is the day that uh, Noah released the dove, and it never returned. There are 40 days between that date and September the 15th when this child is being born. The comet child is coming out. So, who has ever heard of such a thing that a, wom that a woman travail not and give birth to a child? Who's ever heard of such a thing? Are we going 40 days before the child is born on September the 15th? Is it 40 days between the time the bride goes and then judgment, just like Noah's Ark? 40 days. Just like Noah's Ark. Um, and then, of course, seven days before the 40 would be, I'd have to look at this, but it, I believe it would be to be of. So you have seven days and then you have 40. Just like um, you have seven days and 40. Heshvan 10 is when uh, Noah was told to get into the ark. And seven days later, God shut the ark door and it rained for 40 days and 40 nights. Raising the ark up into the air, just in the days of Noah. Any woman who conceives a, and gives birth to a male will be impure seven days, according to the days of the separation of her menstruation, which she will be impure, and 33 days she will remain in her impurity. So, that's 40 days. The reason it's seven days, she can't go around anyone. She's unclean for seven days. She has to do, just like um, uh, Mary and Martha when they bur buried Lazarus, they had a ceremony to perform on the third day. On the seventh day, were, they were clean. And on the eighth day, they had a meal with Lazarus, who was raised, and Mary and Martha. Same thing here. She's un on the eighth day after the male child is born, he is circumcised. She is clean, but she's still impure for another 33 days, a total of 40 days. And I found this uh, also, and in the eighth day, the flesh of the foreskin shall be circumcised, and she shall continue in, her, uh, in the blood of her purifying 30 and three days, another 33 days, so a total of 40 days. Here is his YouTube channel. Remember, if I show you the YouTube channel, it means that they know that Jesus Christ is God Almighty and that he died for our sins. He's the one that found this. I was shocked. God has really blessed him to find this. Uh, he does a lot of uh, looking up there. Somebody named Michael, not me, but somebody named Michael uh, alerted him to, to, to look in Stellarium and look up the comet named Child. He's the one that did it. And that's all, folks. Uh, let's see, where am I at? Oh, here. All right, so that's my first video. I don't want to combine a bunch of videos together. That's my first video. I want to show that to you. I'm going to make another video, a uh, short one, of Glass Darkly Ministries. She found something. And uh, like I said, we were up the other night talking for quite a bit about uh, her find and She's super excited. So am I. All right. I'll be right back. How do I do this now? Forgot. Oh, here. <laughs> 